We now turn to a developing news story that Fox 9 has been following for more than 12 hours. Five officers were shot just after 7 o'clock this morning while attempting to issue a warrant. It happened in Benton County. It happened at a home in Glen Dorado Township, about 30 minutes northeast of St. Cloud, halfway between St. Cloud and Princeton. All five of the officers who were shot are expected to recover and an arrest has been made. The suspect arrested, a 64-year-old man, was also injured in the incident, but the extent of his injury is not known tonight. Courtney Godfrey joining us from our newsroom with more on this. Courtney, the suspect is not a stranger to law enforcement in that area. No, he's not, Randy. Carl Holmberg has a criminal history that spans several decades and that home outside of Princeton has seen its fair share of police activity. Today, it was a special drug task force that was there attempting to execute a warrant. At one point, the officers came under fire. Multiple officers returned fire and officers retreated to outside of the residence. It all started around 7 a.m. when undercover officers attempted to serve a warrant at this rural home in Glen Dorado Township. After announcing themselves several times, police say the suspect opened fire, injuring three Sherburne County deputies and two police officers from Elk River and Princeton. We know incidents like that, like what happened today, are scary and unsettling for the community. We want everybody to know that we are working as quickly as possible to provide answers. Negotiators were brought in and armored vehicles closed in on the property as the suspect, 64-year-old Carl Holmberg, came outside. Aerial footage appearing to show the use of chemical irritants and a canine officer to take the man into custody. I will credit the work of the negotiators there. It is a, a very specialized and, and, and fantastic skill that they have, and I, I will attribute gaining his cooperation to their skill. Court records show Holmberg has a history of drug charges, although his last conviction was almost 20 years ago. Authorities declining to provide details on what the drug task force was looking for today as they attempted to serve the most recent warrant. The Benton County Sheriff saying he's just relieved all officers' injuries are non-life-threatening. I would ask that you keep all of them and their families and all of our agencies in your thoughts and prayers. Two of the deputies shot at have already been released, protected by their bulletproof vests. The other three suffering more serious injuries but recovering at the hospital tonight. As for that suspect, no word yet on what charges he may face as this remains an active and ongoing investigation. In the newsroom, Courtney Godfrey. Fox 9. All right, thank you, Courtney. Reaction to the shootings has been pouring in from Minnesota leaders and lawmakers all day. In a statement, Governor Tim Walz called the shootings horrific and added, my thoughts are with the officers as they recover and we're keeping in close touch with local authorities. While the Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association said today's injuries once again illustrate the increased and grave danger posed to law enforcement and communities.